Well, Nancy and Larry were talking about, you know, when did spring happen? It was Saturday, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we got into the 80s yesterday. We're in the upper 80s. It's summertime today, so it kind of Saturday was was April, and yesterday was May, and now we've, we've gone to July. Right now in Lexington, we sit at 88. Enough humidity in the air that you notice it, so you have a heat index that comes in for us at 90. South wind comes in at 13, so at least we're mixing the air up a little bit. We'll give you another reason to look up here in just a second. We can do that for you later on tonight. May ends tomorrow, and it's going to end on a very summery note as we wrap up meteorological spring. That's March, April, and May. We begin meteorological summer on Wednesday. We're going to finally see some rain chances come in, but for the most part, rain chances are pretty sparse all the way through the eight day. As we're talking about what a reason to look up tonight, and it's one night only, boys and girls. And it's only a chance. It's a possibility. So the astronomy folks are saying there could be a meteor storm tonight where you could see 10,000 shooting stars in an hour. Or you could see absolutely nothing. You know, so there is the astronomical broad side of the barn that they're aiming for. What's happened is that there was a comet, and we say was, it was comet schwassmann vachmann 3 uh, broke up. And that happened on one of its passes by the sun a few years ago. They think there's a dust cloud that we're going to hit tonight. They think that it is going fast enough that when it hits our atmosphere that it'll make these shooting stars, but they don't know. And so we'll all be surprised together. You need to be away from the lights of the city most likely, and it'll be in the hours after midnight. But if regardless, it's going to be a nice night. So if you're up at 1230, 1 o'clock, wander outside if you're away from the lights of the city, let your eyes adjust and Take a look. Uh, you're looking for the bright star Arcturus. It's the brightest star that we have in our northern sky. Uh, to find it, just find the Big Dipper, follow the arc, the, and you follow it out, and you'll find Arcturus. Not in the Big Dipper, but away from it, but just follow the arc, and that's how you can find it. Uh, Mid-80s right now off the Kentucky Mesonet, 85 in Jackson, 84 in McKee, 84 Frankfurt. You're looking at temperatures tomorrow, pushing 90 again. Wait, we're 10 above normal, hot again on Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, we do see a cool down coming, if only temporarily. Not much rain, and we need some. Uh, but our best chance are going to be Wednesday night into Thursday, where we'll see the rain being likely, because we're an inch and a half behind. And we will see that number begin to increase even more. And this is our third consecutive month where we have had below normal rainfall. High pressure off the East Coast. Good southerly flow has brought the heat in. It's brought the moisture in as well. That front will eventually arrive as it does so. That's when your rain chances will begin to increase for us as we look ahead to Wednesday late afternoon, more likely though Wednesday night when that big cluster will arrive. So for tonight, sky is clear, temperatures are warm. So again, if you want to go out and take a look after midnight, certainly do so. Lows will be in the upper 60s tomorrow. Lots of sun, decorator clouds again, kind of humid. We'll push 90. We'll be in the upper 80s then on Wednesday. Clouds will start increasing in the afternoon. Rain chances Wednesday night into Thursday, but they're out of here Friday and next weekend at this point looks pretty terrific.